of you. Apart from the physical aspects as well, because you've got the physical interaction with the body, because the, the points lie directly over the bladder. Okay. But you've got the energetic, dimmac purpose behind it of properly messing around with the energy in the body. Okay. So obviously we're learning dimmac secrets, so the energetic side is important because you want to learn the functions of it. But from a physical point of view, CV3 uh, and or 4, depending, because they're very close together anyway. And so when you're hitting with a fist, for example, you can't help but really hit both, unless you're going with a single knuckle like your phoenix eye fist. Close proximity to the bladder. So if you're your training partner and you hit them in, in that point and they need to go to the loo, yeah, they're going to do it on the spot. Okay, so they're not going to have time to go to the toilet. The bladder will empty. If the bladder is full and you hit it with any force, the bladder might burst. So be mindful with your training partner. If you need to pay a visit to the toilet, I'd recommend you do it first. All right. So on that note, <laughs> I've, already, I've, already, I've already spoken to Ali in relation to that, because the last thing I want is an accident on the mat. The point lies pretty much where a belt buckle would be. Okay, it's right in the center. So it's below the navel where the belt buckle would be, above the, above the, the top of the pelvis. When you strike it, generally speaking, you strike it in and down. You could strike it with a phoenix eye fist, which obviously is going to be a very penetrating technique. Yeah? So when you strike with this, in and down, it'll penetrate the point. It'll also obviously affect the bladder itself. You can hit it with a lion head fist, although to be fair, phoenix eye fist is probably more suited for downward striking. Okay? You could even use your cotton fist. If you're very skilled, you can use your gimji, your sword fingers. Okay? Or if you're very strong, your iron needle. But this one's quite nice as well, using the, the, the modified iron needle to strike in and down, because that works quite nice. But from a combative point of view, I'm just going to use a normal fist to start with, all right? Or the cotton fist. So Ali's got a good set of abs. He tenses his abs. He tenses his abs. He can take this. He can take this. Touch. Can you take him out? So it could be said that you're using a phoenix eye fist to make them wet themselves, because that's what it does. All right, but not only does it do that, it'll, uh, it'll empty the bladder, it'll take the legs out, it'll drain the energy from the body. So as a setup point, or as a sealing point, to seal the energy, it's very effective. So that in combination, you might be in here, you might have tapped up here, you might have popped into here, and take them out and put them down. It's an energy drainer, basically. You're taking, you're taking the, 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 the strength out of the body because this is where the energy is based, the center of the energy, the dantian. Chinese say dantian. Yeah, it's a, it depends what dialect we're using, Cantonese or Mandarin, but in this area um, is where you're striking. And it's this energy center. Okay? So it's into here, right where the belt buckle is. And it's great because if somebody's got a belt on them, you just get the buckle and just push it straight down. Martial artists wear their... Uh, when they're wearing the geese and they're wearing the belts, depending on what art they do, they've got the belts and they've got the knot at the front. Right where that knot is, press that in and down, obviously, and that will hit the spot. Okay. Again, you can use it in combination with a multitude of points. It can be used with a knee, okay, although you find if the body's already double forward, that doesn't become a viable target. But that's fine, that's not a problem, because inherently most people, obviously, they're attacking you, they're going to be upright, aren't they, generally speaking. So it's conception vessel three, stroke four, Right where the pants, if you like, meet the rest of the waist, where the belt buckle is. In this case, right where the cord is from uh, uh, Ali's uh, tracksuit. So it's right here. Phoenix eye fist this time. Not done too hard. And it penetrates deep into the target. Can have quite a good effect on the person. Well, really has a very good effect, should I say, on the person. Draining their energy. Uh, you can use it to seal other points, as we talked about, to stop the body's ability to be able to heal itself. But obviously those are using the advanced principles of the DIMMAC, such as the 12 times and so on. So it's conception vessel on the centre.